Hey, what's going on guys? It is Evil Batman here, bringing you guys another best class setup. In today's video, we're going to be covering the shotgun, the TAC-12. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. If you do, make sure to slap a like. It'll help the video get out there for other people to enjoy it just like you did. So having said that, let's get right into the video. So what I have on screen for you guys right now is what I believe is the best TAC-12 class setup. So starting off, obviously, the shotgun, the TAC-12, it kind of reminds me of the KSG from the previous Call of Duties. Now, the attachments we're going to be using on the gun today are going to be the muzzle brake. Now, first of all, shotguns, obviously, we want them to shoot as far as we possibly can. So we're going to be using the muzzle brake just to get that job done. Now the grip, you don't really need any other attachment on this gun, that is why I chose the grip so that there's not as much recoil as I shoot so if I go into a room with a bunch of people I can pick them all off very easily. No secondary, no lethal, no tactical. Now secondary, it, you could use one if you wanted but I don't like using secondaries, I like to use more perks but if you really want to you could definitely try it out. But moving into the perks, we're going to be using ready up. So after we're done running, because I like to run and gun when I use a shotgun, so as soon as I see someone, I can get my sights up much faster and shoot them and get the kill before they can kill me. Now agility and marathon, pretty straightforward when you use a shotgun. Typically you're going to be rushing around and agility and marathon are the best perks for that job and look at this quad feed right here. But anyways, the next perk we're going to be using is on the go, which is reloading while sprinting. So. This gun has 10 bullets in a clip, and sometimes it takes 2 bullets to kill someone, so when you reload, say you're running through the enemy spawn or from a flag to a different flag in domination, you can be reloading while you're running, which is definitely a key perk to use on the shotgun class. Next is going to be steady aim. Uh, shotguns, you want to hit fire a lot of the kills, as it is pretty accurate when you hit fire, and especially in this gun, the little reticle thing, whatever it's called, the crosshairs, they are actually fairly big, so the hip fire is quite the far spread on this shotgun. And the last one we're going to be using is quick draw. Now, obviously, when you run into someone, you're going to want to, sometimes you want to aim, sometimes you want to hip fire, but for the times that you do want to aim, you can get your sights up really fast and shoot them before they can even get a single shot off on you, which is pretty crazy and helpful. Now, as far as the strike package goes, this is the strike package I found to be the most useful on this gun. So I'm going to be using the support strike package, therefore when I die, I don't have to worry about losing my streak, I'll just have to get the amount of kills and I'll be getting my strike package as fast as I can. So I'm going to be using this SATCOM, it acts, as you guys probably know, it's like the UAV, put it down and you can see where the enemies are. And then I'm going to be using the Night Owl, and the Night Owl is definitely one of the better perks, support perks in the game, sorry, sorry support kill streaks in the game. Um, basically what it does, it's a built-in trophy system around you as well as a radar. It's like a portable radar. When it flies around you, it can see people like a UAV. And the last one we're going to be using is the ground jammer. So when people put down SATCOM and stuff like that, we're not going to be using off the grid in this class. So when people put down SATCOM and stuff, all we got to do is call in the ground jammer. It'll destroy all that type of stuff and disable their radar for about 12 seconds. And this is going to give you a little bit more of an advantage when you run around, especially on smaller maps like this freefall map. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode of Best Class Setup. Covering the TAC-12, definitely try out this shotgun as well as this exact class setup. It definitely did good work for me. Also, like I said before, make sure to slap a like on this video as it will share it with many other people to enjoy just like you did. This has been Evil Batman, and until next time guys, I'm out. Peace. Yeah.